Oh uh, yeah, bumped into a place. Tell me, Master Mario, what in the world brings you to this rich place? I got a letter from the princess with a map inside. Damn. You'd think that the guy would know what the princess was up to. Where is she, by the way? Yeah, that's exactly what I want to know. I only took my eyes off her for a moment, and then she vanished! Oh shit! I don't like the fact that the princess has been unguarded in this town. We just saw some mafias beat up some guys. This is not a safe place for a princess to be! Fraught with worry, I tell you. Surely we'll find her, surely! Time to look for clues! Are you going to the end? Is that that's how you're gonna search for the princess? You're gonna go relax at the end? Have some tea? Some shit like that? You suck! You could help me, you know! God damn it. What about you? Are you gonna help me? That's the one. Yeah, she did. Are you not are you just now getting this? Sort of been the topic of the conversation for a while now. I sure hope not. Where are we going? The professor? Alright. Let's go. First party member! Once again, it's a Goomba. Little tutorial for the ball for the partners now. Goombella's ability, a primer. Press the X button to get information about the nearby people, places, and objects. This is Rogueport Plaza, in the center of the town, a main business district. Of course, there's a noose hanging from the center of the town, which is kind of a letdown. Walk up to somebody, and then press X, and she'll give you information about that person. All right, great. She's the encyclopedia, just like Goombario. Glad to see that the Goombas have pretty much the only ability that they all have. Goombario's excuse was that he read books a lot. Goombella's excuse is that she's some sort of college student. And that's why she knows so much about everything. Go find the professor! Yeah! Sounds like a good idea, Professor Frankly! Check out this noose, man! Oh, I'm sorry, I pressed the wrong button. There we go. Check out this noose! Why would anybody find this place happy in business? There's a noose in the middle of town! Damn! Alright, um... I start the game with a hundred coins. Let's go buy some stuff, I guess. What do we got here? The shop. And all the items look a little bit different. Okay, why are there two merchants here? I'm a little concerned here. Alright, let's talk to the first one. Welcome to the Toad Bros Plaza. Oh, he's just the greeter. Okay. You're the actual shop merchant guy. Customers receive points when they make a purchase. And you can save up points and you can get prizes, including some rare items. Hell yeah! No, oh, I got it the first time, buddy. So the more you buy, the more points you save up, and the more points you get, the more cool stuff you can get! Check it out! 10 points gets us a mushroom, but if we keep saving up, we can get a life shroom and an ultra shroom and a jam and jelly and some gold bars. Why would we need gold bars, you ask? Well, there's a limit to how much money you can hold, and you will reach that limit, believe it or not. It's much easier to get cash in this game than in um, Paper Mario 64. So you'll need to exchange your coins for gold bars at some point. And, um, that way you can continue to get more money. Blah blah blah, yeah, Goombas, you press you to check out your health and whatnot. Speaking of which, I did lose some health in that battle. Also, why does our partner have a health meter? I thought they just get hit, and then that's it, and then they're dead. Not in this game, no way. In this game, your partners have health, and they lose it, just like you would. Let's just go to the professor. Have you saved yet? No, I actually haven't, so uh, why don't you fuck off? I know what I'm doing. Screw you. I know what I'm doing. You think this is a game? Whoa! What happened? Oh, 
What? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I was just mugged. No, fuck that. We're going. Ready to go. Hey, which one of you freaks just saw, what, just saw a bandit? You! Did you see a bandit? Ugh. Gotta be a bandit around here somewhere. Hey, you. Did you see a bandit? Damn it! I think I know where he is, though. Is this him over here? No. Damn it. What about you? Did you see a bandit? Yeah, 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 whatever. You suck. He's somewhere in this back alley, I know. Maybe he's in this building. You're gonna give me my money back, you piece of shit. There he is! Mafia! It's justice! Battle him! Alright then, let that be a lesson to you. A little pocket change, you stole 50 coins! Now back in Mario 64, that would have been a life shroom! Or a thunder rage! Or both! Oh, piece of shit stole my stuff. Hold on, before we go talk to the professor, let's check out the end. Oh, hey! What's going on? Captain Flavio. Flavio. Whatever. Surely he won't become a main character later on. Surely. Anyway. What's going on here? Oh, open at 11 a.m. today. I don't think this game goes on real time. I guess we'll spend five coins and recover two health points. Since there's no health blocks around here for me to, um, recharge on. Also, sleeping at the end costs money in this game. It wasn't, it's not free like it was in the first game. Yeah, I slept well. I better have slept well for five coins. You animal! Alright, let's go talk to the professor. We're done dicking around town. We're, we're, we're actually not done exploring the town, but, I mean, I'm not gonna be able to explore much without the help of the professor. Hey, a fortune teller! We'll have to remember where he is for later. It's the professor! Look at this old guy. Who am I? Come on. It's not Goom... <laughs> it's not Goombriel. It's not Eliza Goom. Who could this be? You're Goombella! Hell yeah! I thought he was guessing who I was. A junior at U-Goom. Go Goombas! So it's an entire university of Goombas? How do they get anything done? Because they don't have arms! Who's this? Yeah, it's me! Oh, he doesn't know me. Mario, the famous one! Yes! What do you mean what's hip right now? I've been hip since the 80s! Alright, well, you might want to take a look at this map that I've got. Alright, working together. Collab of scientific minds. Crystal stars! Yeah! The thousand year door! Mm. 
Seven stars? Where have we heard this story before? How about every other Mario RPG before this? You got Mario RPG Legacy of the Seven Stars, Paper Mario 64 with the Seven Star Spirits, and now you got Paper Mario Thousand Year Door with the Seven Crystal Stars. If only we had that map! Oh, coincidence! We have the map! Sure, here you go. The real thing! The one and only magical map! But what does it mean? We can find the crystal stars just by holding this map in front of the legendary door! Let's go! Off we go! To the door! Alright. So now I've got two Goombas following me. Fantastic. Where are we going? Oh. <laughs> he fucking peeled the gate off like a piece of paper. Let's get moving. Wait, I don't... I don't really have anything. Something just occurred to me. Yes, keep your guard up. I know about action commands. I don't need you to teach me. Oh, I think I accidentally pressed of course instead of not really. Oh well. Another tutorial. Yeah, this is probably the only opportunity I'm gonna get to fight Goombella. I'm gonna relish the situation right now. I know how to do it! Damn! When you choose your target, the action command details appear below. Freeze frame! Hey Goomb. Barry, Goombella, smell my feet! Press A just before your enemy strikes you. Okay. Yeah, I know how to do that too. Come on. You can't just repeatedly tap A to guard. That will not work. Oh, and remember this! The action command changes depending on the attack. Why don't you try the hammer? Once you choose the enemy, you're going to hold left on the control stick. And then release when the star lights up. There you go. Yes, I do. I'll teach you an incredible technique. Oh, this might actually be something new that I have maybe forgotten about. Mario, this time press B! Just before the enemy attack lands. COUNTER! Super guard! You take no damage, and you damage your enemy in return! But, super guard is harder to do than the standard guard. Choose wisely between them. Yeah. I... got it. I know what to do, damn it. Now stop. Okay, pressing jump and talking to you is the same button, so you can kind of see how I got stuck there. Anyway, Super Guard is, just like the professor said, incredibly hard to do. The timing is tighter, so it's easier to screw it up. But, um, it definitely, definitely does more damage. Oh no, Black Goombas doing cat calls on this fine lady. No! Great. A Goomba, a Spiny Goomba, and a Paragoomba. The Goomba Family 3. The Spiny Goomba. See that spike on his head? Jump on it and you'll take damage. No shit. Your hammer won't reach him. You'll have to jump for him. So yeah, this is basically just another freaking tutorial! Press Y to attack 
in order for you to attack it. Oh, change the order, okay. So I can put Goomba, Goombella, I'm gonna keep calling her Goombario for a while, but she's Goombella. Fuck that. Taste my feet, asshole! 